Today we're going to cook one of our favorite hot pots. It's called chicken mizutake. It's from the southern city of Hakata, which is a place that Tadashi and I have visited and in fact enjoyed this dish with a couple of police officers down there. Sure. Uh, we had a lot of fun. And it's a perfect dish for family night cooking. It's really easy to make and we're going to show you how to do it. These are all the and ingredients I'm that go in. Have a, uh I'll cut the cabbage first. Okay, cabbage. and this uh, is just regular cabbage? Just, uh, it, this could be a savoy cabbage too. Savoy okay. cabbage is a little uh, softer than a regular green cabbage. Mm -hmm. So this is yes. something to keep in mind with family right. cooking, is that you, you really roughly cut yes, it. It's, it doesn't have to be too pretty. It's all going to be delicious. Right. And one of the things we talk about in our book is to cook any hot pot, there are four basic rules. Prep, broth, build, cook. And you'll see what Tadashi is doing right now is starting to do the prep yes. and build at the same time. Same time, yes. So, especially yeah. this kind of hot pot, real rustic family it style. It is rustic, easy. You don't know. Really There's easy. There's no much to do about it, so you can so, do you know anything you want. Okay, Tadashi. So I put the two pieces of kombu on the bottom of the pot. Then I just add cabbage. Inside. So you're just putting cabbage just right put in. Inside. And put what are you the, pouring here? Uh, chicken stock, maybe about uh, uh, six cups here. Okay. Yes. So that's then all you need. you're going to start to cook. Right away? Yeah, right away. So we're cooking the hot pot in this beautiful pot today. Right. And despite the fact that it has a fish on it, it's a perfect pot for a chicken hot pot. Oh, absolutely. And why these big chunks of tofu today? Well, it looks nice to see you know, a big chunk of tofu. I, see. That's, I guess that's Japanese tradition. OK. And then you're just adding it into yeah, the hot pot. Put it, put it in on the one corner so you can find it easy. Okay, now you're adding the chicken that you've already chicken, poached before. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Now, yes. you notice that Tadashi is not using a measuring cup and he's not worrying too much about quantities. And that's really one of the beauties about hot pot. It doesn't really matter if you put more chicken or less chicken. Hot pot is family cooking, it's comfort food, it's soul food. It's really easy. So don't sweat the quantities too much. Okay, so Tadashi, okay, now you have a really carrot. beautiful carrot here. Yeah. And a little bit. Oh, you're using fancy Japanese cutting technique here. Yeah. Don't try this at home. Okay. And again, you're arranging everything yeah. in a in you know, corner, in his own bunch. In the corner, yes. Yeah, so everything goes in nice, neat bunches. Yes. And that'll make the hot pot look beautiful, and I guess easier to find your ingredients exactly. once you start digging into it. Okay, now and we're using green, green onions. Onion. And you can use Japanese negi, which is another kind of onion. But yes. if you don't have it, green onions work great. Perfect. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Look. Yeah, you Steve. don't want to waste anything. But now yeah. the hot pot's starting to look really beautiful. This could be a long corner. Okay. And again, even when you're putting the hot pot together, yes. don't worry if it's not. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. So mm -hmm. what happens now? Well, you're gonna have to wait for maybe another five minutes, five to ten minutes. Okay. To cook through. Should we go have a beer? <laughs> All right. So now you're just checking the pot, and one of the things that Tadashi is doing, and we talk about in the book, in the hot pot tips, yeah. is he's checking out the ingredients, pressing them into the liquid, making sure that everything's in its nice little area. I'm, so it looks beautiful. I'm, uh, touching with love. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to add a little spinach. Okay, so spinach is the last, last, last one, step. Because it cooks very fast. So, I see. Know. Uh, you cover it again and okay. maybe simmer for another one minute, then it's done. So this is really beautiful. Thanks so much for showing me how to make this, Tadashi. Oh, you're welcome. I'm Harris Salat. I'm Tadashi Ono. And we're the authors of Japanese Hot Pots. And I hope you try this at home or you come to Tadashi's restaurant in New York called Matsuri and try it at the restaurant because Tadashi cooks it every night. Thank, Thank you. you.